So September the 30th, 2015, I'd got up not feeling too good, but I was at my grandma's in Bridlington. I had to go back to Leeds. So I still got in the car and drove and about part of the way home, I realized my left side didn't have any use. I stopped, I was about 11 miles from the nearest village, couldn't use my phone and tried to flag cars down and nobody would stop. So somehow I managed to get back in the car and drove 11 miles, including on a very, very steep hill, to a village called Stamford Bridge and walked into the GP surgery. Basically said, I think I'm having a stroke. It was quite difficult to accept. My memory had gone, so I was finding myself going into town and getting very tired in town and not recognising Lee City Centre. Got on the wrong bus a couple of times. I basically was stuck in the house most of the time. I, luckily, I've got very good friends who came and took me shopping or made sure I socialised. The stroke affected me physically by that my energy levels are very low. My left side is very weak, so I often drop things. And my foot, I had to have a new orthotics put in, and my shoes, because I couldn't walk very well. But it didn't stop me in many ways because I was still able to, over time, do park runs and uh, done triathlons since the stroke. And the positive is it's given me a new perspective as I'm not pressuring myself like I used to do a lot of sports, I used to pressure myself, I've got to do this, got to do that. Now it's like, well, if I'm not ready for it, it's not just time yet. I now I work for the charity Different Strokes, which is for younger people who've had strokes. So I set up networks, support networks, and raise awareness of strokes and younger people in the West Yorkshire area. I think that you never fully recover. It's just how you adapt and as long as I manage it and I don't put myself under too much stress and control the triggers, I think the recovery should be really, really well.